<laughs> I found something awesome. You guys may have heard about it. Panera is offering free drip coffee. So like not their lattes and stuff like that for I think the summer until September. I just signed up for it. Um, and I was like, well, let's see. I mean, it's free. I can always cancel it at any time, right? Way to go Panera. You're smart because my husband, it's $8.99 a month thereafter. My husband probably spends at least that much a week on coffee at Speedway. So to get this dark iced coffee, and you can get regular coffee too, but they let you get the iced coffee. And that is totally within a keto lifestyle too, because it's good, it's dark, probably not organic, but it is good. And I will say, I think I found a new love. Maybe you will too. Anyway, give it a try. Bye. So I'm on a mission to find the best iced black coffee that there is. I'm going into this place right here. Doot doot. I can guess what that is. So I can try it out. Okay, so my reaction to the Duncan. Sorry, I had to open my car door. Um, this black coffee needs cream. So the Panera one was really smooth. <clears throat> now this one cost me like two dollars and something cents. So it's not very expensive. And it's decently sized. But that's really bitter versus the dark coffee from Panera that was really, let's just say, it was really smooth. Like I actually enjoyed it black. This one? Ooh. I don't know that I would enjoy this. Like, I'll try it with cream and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I'm heading into this place. Let's see back there. And uh, I don't like videotaping in there. I feel like it's wrong. So I just don't want to do that to anybody. So I'm just kind of proving that I'm walking into this place. And off I go. Let's see if they have anything good to offer. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that experience for a little bit inside Tim Hortons. The guy was super courteous and asked several times, can I get you anything else? So anyways, the, the customer service there was great, but that is not, you know, when it comes to chain restaurants, that's not what actually makes them. So when we're doing a coffee comparison, we're not doing that customer service comparison, because that really just comes down to the individual, doesn't it? But um, I will say, he gave me a large instead of a small. Very cool. Very nice. Um, Although, it kind of stinks because it's not very good. I'll have to do a comparison between this and the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So I'm thinking they're pretty similar. And I actually like Tim Horton's um, hot coffee. But since we're just doing a black coffee comparison, um, yeah, we're going to make sure we compare apples to apples, right? Not apples to oranges. Okay, so we have Tim Horton's and Dunkin' Donuts. I already tried the Panera and I ended up putting cream in it so I can't compare that anymore but I know it was smooth and I loved it. Alright, so Tim Hortons. Bitter and light, I would say. Dunkin' Donuts, which I already know I don't like. It's iced down a little bit more than the Tim Hortons version. Well, let me see. Yeah, Tim's Hortons is a little bit stronger, um, but it's possible the Dunkin' Donuts the ice has just melted a little bit more. But both of them, mm, subpar, I would say, at best. I know that's kind of horrible of me, but it's true. All right, off we go to Starbucks. So I stopped at McDonald's on the way, because it was right there. Hi, welcome to McDonald's, and I appreciate the order from you. Yes, can I have a small black iced coffee with some cream on the side? I'm sorry, you said a small what? Black iced coffee with cream on the side. Okay. Hey, do you still want the liquid sugar in there? I'll put white iced cream on the side. No, just straight black iced coffee and then just put the cream in, just cream by itself, like three or so creams on the side. Is so that all for you? Yep, that's all. Okay, you're sure to be 179. All right, thank you. You're welcome. 179, that's pretty good. I'm not going to show you the waiting in line. Mm. Okay. 
McDonald's is not bitter immediately. It's a little on the weak side. But it's not bitter like the other two. So I could actually drink this. The other two, I'm really ready to dump them. And it was the cheapest one. Although size comparison, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell the Tim Hortons size. He gave me a large instead. So we've got Tim Hortons, McDonald's. I mean, they're probably similar as my guess. And Duncan. So Duncan gives you the bigger, small, I'm guessing. Maybe Tim Hortons is the same size as the Duncan. But these two, not so great. McDonald's, decent. So I would definitely choose between the three of those. I'd go with the McDonald's. All right. But Panera still takes the cake. All right. So I just got out of Starbucks. They're tall, not a small. So you know the difference. And um, it tastes bitter to me. It's very dark. Oh, not as bitter now. Maybe it just tastes of that initial shock of black coffee into my system. So actually, it's decent. The most expensive by far. I could drink this black. Feels a little bit stronger. Maybe slightly stronger than the Panera. But my Panera is so old now um, that I think I have to go get another one. Which I can, because with the free subscription that they have right now, um, I can get a new coffee every two hours. So I'm gonna go get one and do my final comparison of all the coffees black, and then I'll put some cream in them, because I know some people can't quite make that leap into going to black coffee. And we'll see um, which creamers do the best in the coffees, I guess, or which coffees do the best with the creamers as well. All right. Okay, so YouTube world, YouTubers, I give you a lot of credit it's really hard to have people staring at you when you decide to do a video in public. <laughs> and I tried to sneak everything in even though I already asked for permission to do the video in here with the coffee products. Um, I just felt like it was awkward to bring all that in and I put it in my bag and then when I picked it up or put it down I tried to get a picture of the cream spilled in my bag. What are you gonna do? Okay so we're just gonna go black coffee straight just kind of a quick comparison first they went to dunkin donuts we know that it's bitter still very bitter measured against tim hortons i kind of like tim hortons a little bit better than the dunkin donuts okay so tim hortons against mcdonald's this is smoother than tim hortons um but the tim hortons is darker so if you like ice and go with the Tim Hortons. I only do like half the ice that they recommend because I actually like the taste of coffee. <laughs> and I'm going to be a little quieter than I probably should be because I'm not used to this thing yet where you go out in public and do videos. Okay, then the two big dogs. Starbucks and Panera. Okay, so we'll do Starbucks. A little bitter but very rich in flavor. And my favorite so far, but we'll see now that it's fresh. Smooth. Okay, so I think it's still Panera. Panera takes the cake, although I will say Starbucks is really strong. It would probably taste good with cream because you can still taste the flavor. I'm going to add cream to these and see if they're any better. Okay, here we go with the cream inside the coffee. Dunkin' Donuts first. Ooh, that did make it quite a bit better. I have a feeling it's going to make all of these better. Um, by the way, I put the same amount of cream in each one of them. In fact, the little tiny cup from Starbucks that they give you with the cream, I used three empties from the other half and halves, and I just poured the cream in each of those so that it could all be compared. Gotta keep apples to apples, right? Okay, so Tim Hortons. A little watered down at this point. Oh, I did dump half of it out, so it would be pretty easy to compare. I think I like Dunkin' Donuts a little more now. Yeah, so it was more bitter when you add the cream. Wow, way, way better. Which I think half the reason people like coffee is cream. All right, and McDonald's. good with cream. It just tastes like milk now. 
maybe it's just a smooth coffee with it's not very dark. That could be why. And then Starbucks. Okay, so I probably would have put a little more cream than that in it. And I think part of the reason I like Starbucks coffee so much is that it actually tastes like coffee when you put cream in it. So I think I'm in love with the cream and I love the taste of coffee. So when you get the cream and the coffee flavor, that's why, and I'm a Starbucks fan, that's why I like the Starbucks coffee with the cream in it. Super consistent in getting coffee and cream flavor. Okay, and then I have Panera. It's a little, a little less coffee flavored than the Starbucks version. So overall, I would still choose the Starbucks if you want to taste the coffee. If you like the cream and um, coffee flavor with just a little bit of coffee, I actually think Dunkin' Donuts. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm tossed up now. No, Panera still wins. <laughs> but when it comes to the iced coffee, if you want more coffee flavor with your cream, then you have to go to Starbucks because it's just really dark. But for black coffee, Panera takes the cake for sure. And the other coffee, McDonald's was decent. I could do that. Tim Hortons and Dunkin' Donuts, they need the cream. All right, well, that's my personal opinion. If you have a different place that you'd like me to try, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know if you're on an entrepreneurial journey and the things that you love that make it a little bit easier when you're having a stressful day. All right, God bless you.